Hello guys, Unknown Gamer here, and today we're going to be talking about The Last of Us 2. Oh boy, it's a fucking mess. <laughs> Before we start with the video, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content. It'll be greatly appreciated, so let's get on with the video. But, bloody hell, Naughty Dog, you fucking idiots. <laughs> like, holy shit, I've never seen a game... That's not even out yet, not even out yet, fail so miserably, like, seriously, I do not recommend buying this game if you're a PlayStation user, like, this, this game is filled with such political garbage that it's unbelievable. Look, I never really talk about politics in my videos. But The Last of Us 2, I mean, I'm not going to give any spoilers here, but it's just a, it's just propaganda. It, that's legit what it is, to promote this fucking agenda, which not a lot of people like. Please, stop putting politics in your games. No one wants it. It's a load of shite, alright? Look, I have never played The Last of Us 1. I never played The Last of Us series at all. I mean... I have watched Let's Plays on it, and, get, and the game looks great. But ruining a story for the next game just to promote your progressive agenda. Like, really? I just, like, you, you guys can look at, look at it yourself. I mean, it, it, it's just a complete and utter cringe fest. But apparently behind the scenes, like, video game crunch, they're not getting paid for certain hours that they're putting in, so... No wonder this rogue employee who pretty much quit, I mean apparently 70% of the workforce has quit because of Naughty Dog. Pretty much one person said, fuck it, let's just put everything out there, even the fucking ending. And hats off to him, like hats fucking off, like congrats, you saved everyone their money. C thank you, thank you, I mean look, I'm not, I mean I'm not even on PlayStation and Thank fuck, I guess, but like, this one developer, this one developer that went rogue, pretty much saved the whole fan base's money. And pretty much the whole fan base is just being so thankful to this guy for leaking the story. I've never seen a game flop like this in a while. I mean, this is more worse than Fallout 76, and you know that mess has pretty much been cleaned up by Bethesda. But Naughty Dog. You done the fucked up, mate. I mean, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. I mean, that, I mean, it's not even out yet. It's like, look, these leaks are definitely true, in my opinion. There's no way those cutscenes are fake. They're real, they're 100% real, and the fans are just not happy. And I'm probably going to be repeating myself a load of times here. But just don't buy the game. It, it's already dead. I mean, it's probably going to get lots of sales anyway at release because it's a PlayStation exclusive and people expect those exclusives to be good. But once they play the game, they're going to be very disappointed in my opinion. <laughs> and once again, Naughty Dog, this is what you get for putting political propaganda in your games. And this is that when I read everything, it just seemed like political propaganda to put out some message for young people and other people to be indoctrinated with. I mean, I like Naughty Dog's like older games, but this game. I mean, the graphics are nice though, but like, really? <laughs> the thing is, that I find disgusting as well because I come from a fairly Christian family, so. Treating Christians like they're homophobics and all that stuff is really fucked up in my opinion. Uh, Alright, I know, I'd, this is basically a spoiler within itself. But, personally, I find that fucked because I come from a Christian family and they're not like that. Like, it's kind of fucked up. I know it's some radical group, but you just know that they're just trying to get to that certain audience and spread a false message. That is what it is. And, yeah. I mean, I have nothing else to say about this game, is just don't buy it. It's a mess, Naughty Dog has been through 
countless amounts of fucking video game crunch and also I feel sorry for the developers who actually put their time and effort into this game now to be scrapped away into nothingness because some fucking director decided to get a bit political. This is the type of year that we're living in. Shit like this happens with movies like Star Wars The Last Jedi and the fucking Ghostbusters movie. It's a clear representation to not put politics in your like games. I mean, yeah, some games get political. Yeah, th yeah, that should be a thing. But not to the point where it's like politically pandering to an audience or spreading false messages. It's it's disgusting. And yeah, that's all I've got to say with this video. I mean, The Last of Us is pretty much is the last fucking game that's going to be good. The Last of Us 1 anyway. Last of Us 2 is just going to be buried. It's already dead. It's already on life support. So, anyway guys, I'm going to end the video here. Like, Jesus Christ, what a fucking train wreck. But, yeah guys, I'll see you in the next video, and I'll see you then.